Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's going to be looking at the new Genesis GV80. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Genesis of Linden for giving me some time with this GV80. I'll include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for Mary. I'll also include a link to my car buying guide as well. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy 16 around town and then 22 on the highway with power outputs being 375 horsepower and then 391 pound feet of torque. Before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you can see it's raised on either side, very boxy with the overall design. We've got the new Genesis logo. I think that's pretty fun. And then popping down below with the split light cluster. That's pretty cool with the new headlight design. I like it. So you get the grill. The grill is also cool looking. But yeah, putting it all together, let me know what you guys think about this refreshed front end. Now around the side here, our time wheel setup is 265, 40, 22 in the front and over in the rear. And taking a look at these wheels, very interesting with the kind of theme here. I like it though. It's a, it's a new take. You've got, of course, the little transcendental indicators on the side, and you've got some chrome trim there. And then here's your full side view. You can see the overall side profile is pretty much the same. And this leads us to the key fob itself. Genesis logo there. We have our lock and unlock function. We got the opening for the hatch, self park feature, their remote start as well. And well, pop her open. Now popping into the rear, we've got quite a bit of cargo space in the back. Some of the big benefits of the GV80 is it's a pretty big SUV. And I think that's cool how you just have like the transition from the darker to the lighter with the headliner. And it's even premium here in the very back. That's not to be expected, but it's nice that they've done that. But when you're all done, just press that and that will lower down the hatch. So the overall tail design looks similar, but it's a little bit different kind of with the theme. Compared to before, I think it's very interesting looking. And then you've got all of your normal badges here. No more exhaust tips. Interesting. Or were there ever exhaust tips? I can't remember now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the back. Now take a look at the door panel. You can see soft touch here and then I like this. We got the sunshade here for the rear passengers as well. And that's cool with the two-tone coloration, some speakers for the sound system. And then look at these bad boys. Pretty cool design with these new seats. Even the seatbelt's the same color. It's funky. Popping in. Yeah, not too bad. Pretty good space. A little storage pocket. Look at this, we've got vents down below, but then on top of that, we've got heated and cooled seats. We've got our own climate zone, Very fancy. And yeah, these are so comfortable by the way. Uh, good headroom, and then we do have a sunroof here in the back, which is nice. We have little mirrors here in the back too. So it's a funny feature, but yeah, spacious. Now take a look at the front door panel again, that same nice trim. So you got blind spot running with the mirrors. Again, that cool design piece down below. And then soft touch all the way at the very bottom, by the way. All of our window controls here with a kind of fancy looking finish. And then we've got our memory seat function. Uh, mirrors do power fold in as well. And here's the front seat. Look at that. That's cool looking. All of our adjustments on the side. We also have our massage seat function. And this is cool with a soft touch that goes all the way across the dash. And that trim's nice down below. You can see you've got like hill descent control here. Uh, steering wheel is power adjustable as well. Got our parking brake on top of that. And let's pop in. Now let me tell you, this new steering wheel, pretty dang fancy. Two-tone there, so black on the outside. It's brown on the interior. Got a nice stitching around the airbag cover with the new Genesis logo. Pedal shifters there on the back. And then, you know, the finish on the controls here on the front is pretty nice looking. Got adapt cruise control, lane centering, you know, all the normal modern stuff. And we've got a regular stocks in the back with the fancy finish. Now, this is interesting, this new gauge cluster setup. You can see a bunch of different bits of information there in the center. And, of course, the drive mode select. So this looks like it's the same cluster from the GV60 electric car. 360 camera system. And... Yeah, that's cool. 
the exterior shot. So yeah, really good resolution on all of that. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, quick response time. And this is easy to use. Yeah, this is straight out of the GV60. I can also control it with the dial, by the way. But yeah, that's that makes sense why it's all connected in one unit. Now we actually do have some physical controls with this, so yeah, kind of a cool finish on them. Got our climate controls down below. Heated and ventilated seats, dual zone climate, you know, all the normal stuff. It has perfume as well, that's funny. And then that's cool with the finisher. It's kind of like our charging area inside. And then we got some cup holders here. Uh, we've got a drive mode select behind that. Uh, lots of uh, glare, I will say that. Um, center locker with this. And then this new dial shifter, it's got pretty cool actuation on it. And then that's just for the infotainment system right next to the dial shifter, of course. Center console. Yeah, pretty nice with the storage. Nice trim on the top of this. And then with the glove box. Yeah, pretty normal. It's got a uh, soft touch on the outside, which is nice. They've done a really good job with this interior overall. We, of course, have a camera rear view mirror. And then fancy headliner. It's to be expected, something like this. And then you got the other center foot front. So here's the one sticker. This one's a Prestige, all wheel drive. Total MSRP is 80780 And. See how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. It's over the hood. It's a heads-up display, both mirrors. And throughout the rest of the rear. I like this new dial shifter a lot, actually. It's a random point, but not doing a circular shifter kind of having some edges on it and the crystal and all that i don't know it's cool oh it didn't go into drive that's the one thing that i don't like about dial shifters <laughs> i thought i was in drive but i wasn't i was like i'm rolling forward but when i'm pressing the accelerator it's just revving up the engine because it was in neutral yeah that's the one downside it's you just don't know what i mean you can look on the dash obviously but you can't like visibly see well i mean there's the i'll give it a little bit of grace there's the little icons there but still it's not like a shift where there's like a physical position to let you know right so seats are comfortable i think that's a big plus right off the bat and suspension seems decent so far Ooh. Drive a little bit more before we make any final opinions, obviously. Yeah, damping seems nice. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I mean, right next to the interstate, the Sound insulation is really solid. I mean, you can see the cars moving up there. That's impressive. Drive mode selects here. Yeah, I like it. I like how this drives so far. Punch it. Ooh. Pretty good. They need to do a higher performance version of this. I mean, this is a 3.5 liter V6 twin turbo. You could get way more power out of this. You could get like minimum, they could get like 450 plus. They should do that if they don't want to put a V8 because, you know, emissions are difficult. So I can understand not doing a V8, but they could do more, more power with this engine. I mean, Ford and the Raptor, their twin turbo 3.5 liter V6, 450, 510. So it's possible. This drives well though. This is a nice luxury car. Now we're going against the wind. Yeah, the overall insulation with this is quite impressive. It's quite impressive. So, GV80, the new GV80. Some solid updates. Um, not so sure, I I mean, this is, it seems like this is going for like more of a minimalist theme, even though it's a huge screen. I understand why automakers are doing this. I think this just comes down to cost. Because if you just have one unit, you put in all the cars the same unit, that's a lot less expensive 
to design to implement all of that so i understand why they're doing it but i don't know if i'm a huge fan of it from a design perspective it's not as beautiful as having separate gauge and infotainment system and all of that just my personal take there steering so interesting but yeah overall it drives great great luxury car especially considering the price point i wish genesis would give us a uh, gv90 not electric not electric but you know gas car that'd be cool so we could have like a luxury yacht suv i think it could do pretty well so with that being said let me know what you guys think about the gv80 uh, the new gv80 with the refresh